Okie doke, so I have just about 99% completed my uh, little science project I felt like working on. And it is a Vandy Graph generator. As you can see here, uh, it's all custom built by me. You could build one of these for really cheap out of scrap parts. Um, I felt like doing it a little more professionally. I was going to do my first project uh, of this just being a a cheap one thrown together real quick. Then I decided, you know what, I'd rather put my time and effort into doing something a little more professional. So, uh, without getting into too uh, specific of things, all I got here is an acrylic tube, 4 inch, 24 inch uh, in length. And then I got some heavy duty corner brackets here. That is a pure brass screen, it's uh, about 28 points per inch. And uh, in the center there is just kind of that's the electron sprayer. It's pulling electrons from the ground and uh, spraying them onto the belt. And then I have a little sewing machine motor that, uh, that's a Bissell belt. And then, of course, just a custom nylon bar stock with um, uh, bearings that are is sitting inside the tube. And the belt is a, um, a latex belt. And uh, around the nylon roller, there is a f uh, felt that's 100% wool. Uh, on the top, uh, you're not going to be able to see it inside the dome here, but um, that is actually a uh, bar stock Teflon roller. And I may switch to uh, apparently the person who makes uh, ones that looks identical to this are um, uh, Delrin and with a coating of um, uh, contact cement on there. And I guess that supposedly increases friction and it helps, which I understand. Uh, the dome is a stainless steel ball, 12 inch, uh, and I had to cut the hole in there uh, custom. It doesn't come like that. Um, and then what's going to go down here is a, a discharge wand. I'm gonna, I got to mount a uh, discharge wand there, but I haven't done that yet. Over here is my speed controller that controls the speed of the belt, uh, which uh, controls how fast it charges up. And I will go ahead and turn it on here for you. It's running right now, and it actually produces uh, ozone. If you ever bought one of those things from the store that produces ozone, it's supposed to be good for the air, blah blah blah. You can actually smell it producing the ozone. Now this thing can potentially produce about 350,000 volts at about 60 microamps. Um, once I uh, once I get all the kinks worked out, uh, it should start, you know, doing something more amazing than that. <laughs> okay, so I am going to shock myself with my uh, my new Vandy Graph generator. And it looks like it hurts, but it doesn't hurt as much as you think. It feels like someone flicking you with your finger, that's about it. You see it? Yes. Well, let me zoom in on it more. Jesse on the Van de Graaff. I have showed her that it is safe. <laughs> it's not standing up too much, but it's you can definitely see it moving. It's like wiggling on its own. And I can see what's happening right now, the way your hair is jumping, is it's discharging. You're, you're discharging either the ground or maybe the pipe above you. What if I was standing down on the ground? You would discharge. Okay, so we figured out why Jesse was not getting the uh, 
the maximum effect of her hair staying on end because uh, we uh, found that we're too close to ground even with some wood to stand on like right there it's uh, still not working because she's getting discharged through the ground and that's not even enough right there so it actually has to be up higher or possibly on the second floor because through the bottom of Jesse's shoes which are supposedly these uh, anti-electrocution shoes if you turn yeah. the lights off so much for that sketchers <laughs> If you turn the lights off, you can actually see the coronal discharge through the bottom of her feet. Um, it looks like faint uh, lightning, uh, like almost like a Tesla coil. And uh, that's, that's something the video can't pick up. Um, but it is pretty awesome, though.